ready for you when you get there. The General Store on 24 is located on Route 24 in Lewis. Headlines, headlines you can't get through your day without. Oh, Power 1017. All right, Jess, what you got today? All right, here we go. So I know that we talked about this just a few minutes ago, but a missing Illinois girl mm. whose abduction was featured on a popular true crime series on Netflix was found alive and safe in North Carolina after a stranger recognized her. Amazing. Yeah, her name is Kayla. She was nine years old when her non-custodial mother, Heather, abducted her from South Elgin on July 5th, 2017. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children made out with this big announcement saying that Kayla or Heather, they were missing, but they were located on May the 13th when an employee at Plato's Closet and Asheville, North Carolina, recognized the pair after this well-publicized media and alerted the police. Isn't that incredible? Wow. Wow. Also, Matthew Davis, 32, was working at the Sonic drive through on Saturday night and confronted by Angel Gomez, 20 years old, because he was being disorderly in the parking lot, police said. This argument became physical soon during the altercation. A juvenile, a 12-year-old, is now going to be charged with murdering and killing this Sonic drive-in employee. All right. They were a passenger in the suspect's vehicle. They retrieved the handgun and fired multiple shots, striking the victim. Davis was airlifted to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. Only 12 years old now being charged in wow. that killing. Crazy. Gosh. The first U.S. case of drug-resistant skin infection is now found in New York City. A highly transmissible drug-resistant ringworm infection has been found in two women in New York City. The two patients whose infections are not connected are the first cases to be identified in the country, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The infections caused by the fungus um, has cropped up in South Asia, but has never been seen here in the U.S. An investigation is underway following a house fire in Ellendale. It happened on Monday evening at around 5.30 p.m. on the 13,000 block of Hunters Cove Road. It was reported there was a house fire with an explosion and injuries. Crews were able to control the blaze and crews from Ellendale, Georgetown, Greenwood, Bridgeville, and Farmington remained at the scene for several hours. The fire remains under investigation. And a death investigation is underway in Milford. Just before 6.30 a.m. yesterday morning, the Milford Police Department responded to the 600 block of North DuPont Boulevard for a report of an individual lying on the ground in the median. When officers arrived at the scene, they found the individual was a 41-year-old male from Rehoboth Beach, and he was deceased. The victim was turned over to the Delaware Division of Forensic Science for an autopsy to determine the cause and the manner of death. Identification is pending notification of next of kin. This is an active investigation, and if anyone has any information at all, please call 302-422-8081. Okay. 642. It's a Bill and Jessica show. We got sports on the way. Here's Lil Dirk, J. Cole, All My Life. Good morning. Dirk.